My name's Anthony Gale. I was born and raised in Toronto. I was born in Toronto, uh, raised in Brampton, Ontario. I went to high school at St. Thomas Aquinas. I've been playing hockey for 13 years. Uh, just a normal, normal 20 year old. Uh, spinal bifida, long story uh, short, is uh, the incomplete formation of the spinal cord. And I was also born with hydrocephalus, which is, uh, I have a shunt that drains the brain fluid down to my stomach. Raised like a normal child. Uh, I, was, I was raised as a disabled child, and uh, I think that helped with my bringing up. My parents, Tony and Anna, and my sister, Lynn Marie, um, have been very supportive with my hockey career, and especially growing up, uh, starting at a young age, taking me to practice every Saturday, and uh, just helping me grow and, and get to where I am right now, and help me achieve my goal of getting to the Paralympics. sticks um, to pass, shoot, stick handle, uh, and on the bottom of those sticks there's picks to drive yourself up and down the ice, um, but as far as the game uh, and rules go, it's basically the exact same as stand-up hockey, um, all the penalties and, and rules, uh, offsides, icing, it's all the same other than one penalty that we have that's not in the stand-up game, it's called T-boning or teeing, and it's when um, you drive your feet into somebody else's legs to hit them, and that's the two minute penalty. We've been in Oakville, Ontario, training uh, every day, Monday to Friday, uh, in the gym and on the ice. Uh, so I basically am at the rink from about 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's all about upper body. Um, so we're here at uh, BTNL, Beyond the Next Level, uh, private training facility in Oakville. Um, and uh, we have two pretty good trainers here. They've trained a lot of NHL players and stuff like that, so they really know what they're doing and, and they're really uh, accommodative with us. And uh, I, think it's, I think it's pretty, pretty similar to what a stand-up player would do for his upper body. Uh, it's a lot of bench press, a lot of shoulder work, a lot of chest, a lot of back for sure. I think the main uh, muscle group that we really need is our core. Uh, so we do a lot of core stability uh, training, stuff like that, for being in a sled on two blades that are a quarter inch apart. Uh, for sure you do need a lot of core strength. Um, it, it's it's going to be tough when you first start, I think, with any kind of sport. Um, basically the same as skating, it's going to be tough at first, but once you get the hang of it, once you, go, like, once you uh, keep practicing all that kind of stuff, it's, it'll come. When, when I did first start playing, it, it was kind of, like when I was younger, it, it was kind of frustrating to get up and go to hockey some days when I, when I didn't really want to or I wanted to do something else that day. I knew I had to go to hockey, but other than that, like now I just, I love the game and, and there's just so much at stake that I want to keep going. Beginning of the year, we were in Russia. Uh, for a test event before the Paralympics, uh, and we won that tournament. Uh, and then in December, we were in Toronto uh, for another tournament, the World Sledge Hockey Challenge. We won that tournament, and then we just had some training camps and some exhibition games uh, throughout the rest of the year, and then just building up to the Paralympics in, uh, in less than a month. I'm heading to the Paralympics on February 27th. It's our flight to Sochi. We get there about a week before. Um, and then the opening ceremonies are March 7th, and we have our first game March 8th. Uh, my name is Anthony Gale, and I play sledge hockey for the Canadian National Sledge Hockey Team. And we're currently training towards heading to Sochi, Russia for the 2014 Winter Paralympic Games.